Meta's uh, silicon strategy has been a mystery uh, forever, and not just because they changed their name to Meta, but before that, Facebook and, and Instagram. And I had really, um, this just fell into my lap, uh, the opportunity to talk with uh, Jason Taylor, who runs all of infrastructure for Meta. And as running infrastructure, as you and I have talked about, has a lot to do with uh, having the right silicon. And that silicon can be a combination of uh, first party silicon that you do yourself. Uh, some can be co-designed with somebody else, but most of that silicon are from vendors like uh, Marvell, uh, Intel, NVIDIA, AMD, uh, Qualcomm, folks like that. So, um, you know, the fact that I got kind of first dibs on this uh, was uh, really made my day. And, and really the, the driver for this is that Meta made a key uh, hire, uh, Dr. Dr. Alexis Bjorlin. And she was formerly, uh, she was at Broadcom uh, most recently, but she had spent uh, many years at Intel. So a real heavy hitter. So the big question is, why do they need to bring a heavy hitter to, to Meta uh, to do infrastructure? Well, it's pretty simple. Well, first of all, their infrastructure is huge. And uh, in my conversation with Jason Taylor, he really gave kudos to you know, the current vendors uh, in relation to machine learning training uh, in, with regards to like computer vision, text to speech, uh, natural language uh, translation. Uh, but he's he really seems to be running into a brick wall on on what they really, I don't know, make their business on, which is recommendation engines. You know, we we see it on Netflix. We see it on Amazon. Right. You click this, tee up this, you buy this. We think you might like this. Uh, and that's some pretty co co hardcore uh, type of. Um, training that that goes into it. And, you know, quite frankly, uh, Jason said, you know, looking at the roadmaps out, there's not enough bandwidth here. We don't have enough network bandwidth. We don't have enough memory bandwidth. So um, Dr. Bjorlin is being brought in to not only uh, manage and, and work with uh, companies that, that Jason was very complimentary of, the Intels, AMDs, the Marvels, uh, et cetera, but uh, to potentially uh, create their own in-house uh, chip for this. Uh, the only inkling publicly that Facebook had ever given is they did do their own in-house transcoding chip for video. You know, look at the amount of hours that, that you spend or, or kids spend uh, you know, watching videos on, on Instagram. Uh, as as an example, but uh, it 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 just goes to show, Daniel. You know, it reinforces that that silicon is eating the world. Uh, you know, we were talking about it a decade ago. People were kind of laughing at us, but uh, I think it's really safe to say that if you have special things that you have to do that can't be provided uh, by the merchant silicon people and you have the capability, uh, you might have to create or partner to do your own silicon. Uh, and what I mean by partnering, uh, AMD and Marvell both have custom uh, capabilities that, that they do. Uh, so the hyperscaler or the console, game console maker like a Microsoft and Sony don't have to do it on their own. Yeah, you bring up a great point. And Pat, this is one of more and more stories I think that's going to come out of giant tech where they're going to be looking at their own designs. Um, I think you made a great point yesterday. Apple had some news about their expanded silicon capabilities. And you point out the difference between design and production. I think that's an important nuance for the market to understand. But the ability, because of ARM instruction sets now, to be a designer of your silicon and then work with companies to produce it on your behalf is increasingly becoming possible. And so we, we're seeing it being done with Apple, we're seeing it being done with AWS. You talk about recommender engines for Facebook. I mean, look at Alibaba, they've been doing this for a while. They've been building out uh, for this exact purpose. When you're shopping on Amazon, when you're shopping on Alibaba, when you're, when you're surfing, 
uh, on Facebook or on different social networks, the ability to create recommending recommender engines that meet all your needs specific to your platform are going to become increasingly important. Of course, you have you have uh, frameworks like Merlin from NVIDIA that do meet a lot of these requirements and can help certain organizations to achieve their goals for recommender engines. Some companies say, you know, that's great. That's good. That's a good starting point. But we want something that's even more specific to what we're trying to do in our platform. And the world has increasingly become um, able to deliver that. And these companies that have a lot of money, a lot of resources, they can hire the right people. Like we've seen with, with AWS, like we've seen with Alibaba, like we're seeing with Microsoft, they're going to be able to do it. And so that might end up being Netflix and that might end up being Starbucks in the future might say, we want to build an, an ASIC that's just for people who drink our coffee and want a very yeah. specific experience on our app. Um, but they might use something that's off the shelf. That's to be seen. Have a great article that was really thoughtful. Um, you know, there's a lot going on here. The number of entrants into silicon is going to continue to change and, and, and application specific silicon, programmable silicon is going to continue to change the landscape of competition. It's going to put more pressure on your traditional players, but it's also going to um, all players are going to have the opportunity to grow as the overall demand for chips continues to grow. So it's not a zero sum game. It's an additive opportunity and we're going to see more players enter. And especially these players like Facebook, they're not going to be selling what they're going to design to other people but they will in itself become significant players because of the amount of market that they impact. 